Hey folks, Dave here at Super Street Bike Magazine. Um, along with my friend here, a 2009 Yamaha R1 that has seen better days in terms of chain wear. Um, this bike has about 5,000 miles on it, and they're 5,000 winter miles, so the chain is pretty dirty. Um, typically, when you think of chain care, you just think about lubing the chain up, right? So you slap some some lube on there and call the day. But if your chain's dirty from road grime, dust, dirt, um, stuff like that, and riding in the rain, um, putting more lubrication over the top of dirt isn't going to do anything except make the dirt slippery. So to get into the chain and to get the O-rings lubricated and that kind of good stuff, you have to clean the chain. And what do you use? You use chain cleaner, right? So you're going to go to the store and say, What's, what do I need to clean my chain for? Well, when you have grime and filth on your chain, you know, just rolling your finger over it, you can see the dirt beating up on it, and, you know, you pull your finger off, it's not grease, that's just road grime and stuff like that, so, you know, you clean your face shield on your helmet every time you ride, you need to clean your chain, not every time you ride, but, you know, um, just common sense will tell you how, how often you clean it, just by looking at it, um, so this chain here, it's not worn out, it's just dirty. But to determine exactly what kind of condition it's in, we're going to clean it up first. So give a few shakes there. We're using the, uh, the Motul Chain Clean. Pretty self-explanatory when you go to the shop and look for some chain cleaner, right? We're just going to spray it on there. Generously, I'd say. And... Uh, you can let that sit for as long as you want, you know, for um, the longer it sits, probably the longer it's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to break up some of that dirt and, and grind and stuff like that. Um, we've used paper towels in the past uh, to get, to actually clean the chain with, and what happens is you end up with a lot of pieces of torn up paper towels. So if you have some dirty old rags like these clearly uh, have seen better days, we'll probably use them and then toss them out or throw them on a bonfire. Um, not really, of course, because that wouldn't be environmentally sound. But in any event, just find some dirty old t-shirt or something. So after you've, uh, after you've lubed the chain up here with your, with your chain cleaner, you can just hold loosely and spin the back wheel with your other hand. You can just keep her going like that for a little bit. And then you, know, you can see how gross that is. There's a lot of miles on there. So we're just holding loosely and spinning along and trying to loosen up all that grime and filth that's on there. And it might take a couple goes at it because this chain, you can already see, looks like a new chain. You can kind of almost see there's a chain in there now. Um, but there's still a lot of grime and stuff like that. So, you know, give it another spray. We've got a whole can buy a case of them. So we're going to spray her down a little bit more here. Another thing to notice is uh, how much easier the wheels are already spinning. You can see how, uh, how much lighter Dave has to just put his hand on the wheel and the wheel is kicking around now. Whoa! See that? So that's a good point from our Man behind technically you. savvy cameraman, Justin, back there. Is, uh, you know, the, even just the noise in its own right, uh, a dirty chain makes a lot of noise slapping around. Um, so again, this is our second shot at it here, um, and you might want to wear safety glasses if you're sloppy, because I almost shot myself in the eye with some chain cleaner. But um, regardless, so we'll give us a, a second go here, and just get her nice and clean. You can see you can see a chain now instead of a black line underneath your bike, and now you, you know what we were looking at when we started with was just a. Uh, just a filthy, neglected chain, and now we've, we've got somewhere. So um, you could, at this point, if you if you wanted to, you could um, you know take it out to the hose and stuff and, and go even farther with it. But uh, in this case, you know there's a drastic difference. Not only is the wheel spinning, but uh, smoother. But you can see the chain now. You're not done at this point. Now it's time to use your chain loop because, like we said first. Um, if you just came in and put chain lube over a dirty chain, 
you just loop in the dirt so more dirt falls off the dirt that's already there. So at this point, we'll put some chain loop on. Um, WD-40 is good for loosening squeaky door handles, but it's not what you use on your chain. They sell chain loop specifically for O-ring chains. So here we've got some golden spectral, spectro um, chain loop. There's a couple ways to put it on, and there's and most of them are wrong, I'd say. So you come back here and you spin your wheel and you shoot it all over your sprocket. Well, you've half lubed your chain and you've mostly lubed your sprocket and the rear of your swing arm with with grease. So it's going to suck up even more dirt. Doesn't make any sense. Um, the easiest way to do it is to shoot it down here underneath the foot peg because the stuff that that misses the chain just goes into the ground. So um, you know, it's just kind of an easy and sensible way to do it. So what you're going to do is just spray your lube on there as you turn the wheel in the same way that we applied the uh, chain cleaner. So here you go. Shooting your lube on there. And pretty much it just takes one, one time through. Um, this stuff will soak in and that's pretty much a job done right there. You don't want to get too crazy with this stuff because then it'll spit up all over the back of your uh, of your bike. So a little goes a long way on the chain loop. You don't have to get too carried away, um, and you can even take some off, you know, just to make sure that you're just giving a nice gentle spin through, and you're set. And there you have a chain that five minutes ago was filthy and looked like it needed to be replaced, and all it needed was a good cleaning. So get some chain cleaner followed up with some chain loop, and you're all done. Just keep an eye on your on your chain. Um, there's no way to, there's no exact set mileage. Uh, depends on the riding conditions, obviously. If you're riding in a lot of rain and, and these kind of things, um, you're gonna have to clean your chain more often and lube it more often. But again, don't slap chain lube over a dirty chain. It's pointless. So there you go. Chain care 101.